Hey everyone, Zane here, and today I'm going to show you how to use TomTom Tom Navigation application. First, you'll have to download the application from your Play Store or App Store, and you need to know that this application is paid, so you have to pay in order to use it, and you'll have to download all the maps that is present in your location. And now once you download it and open it, it will ask you to enable location. You will have to give it the permission. And after that, you can simply choose don't allow or while using the app or only this time. Just choose while using the app. And after that, it will show you a page telling you that you have to download the maps. And you can just download the map of your location right now. And you can download more and more maps. But be careful if you do not have enough storage on your phone you need to delete some data. It will take a couple of minutes in order to download some maps. After it's finished, it will show you this page right here. On the bottom left side, you have the search bar and here you have your place in the middle right here. You can zoom in by using your two fingers or zoom out as you are using the camera or you can simply click on the plus sign or the minus sign right here to zoom out and zoom in. You can also click on these three horizontal lines on the bottom left side. Then it will show you all the options, including the routes, the places that you usually go to. You can also search for a place, add your home, add work, or show the near petrol station from this button below right here, or even your recent destination. And another important feature is that it shows you what is the speed limit in the road that you are taking. So here, as you can see, it shows 40, but you need to know that it sometimes glitches and it shows you less than the speed limit. So let's say that the speed limit in the road is 60. Sometimes it shows you 60 and when using the same road, it will show you that the road speed limit is 50 for a couple of seconds. But don't worry, it will always be less than the speed limit, not higher. Here you have also this sound icon, which you can use in order to allow all the sounds of the application or mute it if you need. You can also click on the menu button on the bottom left corner and it will show you these options. First, we'll talk about the map and display. You can go to it and download many maps as you need. You can also go to the routing option. And once you go to routing, it will show you these three options. You can click on preferred route type and choose, for example, fast or short or even shorter. This is about the route type. You can also avoid some routes by clicking on avoid or rerouting the route that you're using manually. And when going to sounds, you can simply download some voices and enable and disable the alert sounds. And from this option right here, subscriptions, when you click on it, you can manage your yearly or monthly subscription, or you can even change your plan. And when going to other, it will show you some options, including the units, privacy, the resetting of the app, or even the run in background option. Now let's go to the search bar on the top. And now you can simply go and click on add home, add work, just in order to find your work or home on the map. You can also click on favorites. If you added some places in your favorites, it will show you the route to it. And if you even have some contacts that you have their addresses on their contact details, it can even show you their address and the route to go to them. So this is actually an important feature. You can also search for parkings by clicking on this icon or even gas station using this button, restaurants with this red button, etc. So now when you search for something, it will show you its place on the map and you can simply click on it and add it to favorite by clicking on add to my places, use it as a starting point, click on more information to show you more information or click on drive in order to start your trip to this place. And once you click on drive, it will show you all the routes that you can take in order to reach this place. You can simply scroll to the right or to the left in order to switch between them. And once you click on drive, it will show you on the right right here the progress bar and this progress bar will have also some important stations like the gas station and also the radar camera right here a place for parking and it will show you how near or far they are from you you can also click on these three dots on the bottom left corner in order to show you this menu you can simply click on any one of these things if you want to add a stop and to add a stop, let's say that I want to stop at a parking. So I'm going to choose this parking 
button right here and after that you can simply see all the parking areas near to you you can simply tap on one of them then click on at stop and now here as you can see it shows you exactly where you are from the radar camera and it will also show you on the top left corner right here how will you actually go to the right or to the left in order to stick to your road and another important feature is that when you try to exceed the limit of this road it will show you this red sign right here and, and sometimes it will do like an alarm sound to warn you and as i said when you are near to turn to the left or to the right it will show exactly how we should turn by using these arrows on the top left corner you can also click on any stop that you have created just tap on it then click on delete the stop in order to delete it just in order you change your mind or finished stopping at this area and that's all for today's video if you find this video helpful please don't forget to support us with like subscribe leave us a good comment down below share this video with your friends thanks for watching and see you in a new tutorial